Hello, hello everyone and welcome to story time with Miss Doris. How are you guys today? Guys, guess what? I am ready to read you guys a book. Yes, are you ready for a story? Hello and welcome to story time with Miss Doris. I'm excited to read you guys a book on today. I'm going to give it a few more minutes for mom and dads to get your lunch prepared. Hello, hello. Welcome to story time with Miss Doris. I am so, so glad you are able to join us with story time today with Miss Doris. I hope you are having an awesome lunch. So go ahead on and have a seat. We'll give it a couple of more, probably about another 30 seconds or so. Then we're going to go ahead on and get started with our story time where you prepare lunch for the little ones. I'm so excited. Today's book we have today we're going to be reading is called Henry's Private Surprise. Henry's Pirate's Surprise. Oh my goodness. So we're going to be looking at lots and different things about pirates on today. What are you having for lunch? Hello, Hen Hen. How are you? I hope you're having an awesome day today. How are those little ones? Are they ready for lunch? I know they are. So, hey, let's go ahead on and get started. So, I would like to greet everyone globally all over the world. I would like to say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and to some... Good night. Someone is going to bed somewhere in the world. And guess what? You're just in time for a story. Story time with Miss Doris. Hello, Moo Moo. Hello, Jazzy Jazz. Hello, my little princess. Hi, Moo Moo. I know you're going to be a really, really, really big girl. How are you, my little princess? Hello, Miss Jassy. Are you eating lunch? What are you having for lunch today? Well, let's guess. Are you having a hot pocket or probably chicken nuggets or maybe noodles? Whatever it may be, you guys enjoy your lunch. I know you will. Well, what color are you wearing today? I bet you guys are wearing really, really beautiful colors. Can you guess the color Miss Doris is wearing today? I can't hear you. Did you guess the color red? You're wearing greens. Oh, oh you're eating greens for lunch? Oh, my goodness. I love greens. And man, neck bones and oxtails and cornbread. Yum, yum. Well, guess what? Miss Doris is wearing red today. Hello, Miss Tasha. How are you today? Hello, Ryan. Hello, Charlie. Hello, QJ. You guys are just in time for story time with Miss Doris. Hello, Miss Carrie. I hope you guys are having an awesome day today. How is the weather down there in Louisiana? I hope it's awesome. The weather here in Vegas is about 110 degrees. It's really, 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 really hot outside here in Vegas. Well, guys, let's go ahead on and get started. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and to some good night. You're just in time for story time with Miss Doris. Today's book we're going to be reading is Henry's Pirate's Surprise. Henry Pirate's Surprise. Well, go ahead on and have a seat while I read you a story. Welcome again to story time with Miss Doris. Well, 
Before we get started, let's check out that story time song. How many of you remember the story time song? Hello, Miss Tasha. Yes, it's really, really hot here in Vegas. You guys have rainy weather there, or is it hot there in Louisiana as well? Oh my goodness. Time. Hello, Ryan. Hello, Charlie. It's story time. Story time. Story time with Miss Star. She'll read to you, sing to you, tell you all just what to do. I love this song. I love that story time song. Story time. Story time with Miss Star. It's story. I can't hear you, Moon. Are you singing jazz? I bet you're dancing. Story time. Story time with Miss Doris. Story time. Story time with Miss Dar. She'll read to you, sing to you, tell you all just what to do. Yes! You guys did an awesome job. I actually heard you guys singing. Well, let's get started with our story. Henry's Pirates, Pirates Surprise. Henry's Pirates Surprise. This is going to be an awesome story today. Well, a quite lengthy one at that. Let's get started. Henry's uncle, Richard, was a toy maker who lived above his shop. He loved to visit because his uncle would always, always surprise him with a new toy. Then he would ask Henry to play with him over the weekend. You are my chief toy tester, he told him. His uncle would say, it was a very, very important job to be a toy tester. Wow, I wouldn't mind being a toy tester because if you're a toy tester, you get to play with all of the toys. Look at that. This time, his uncle had a special surprise for him. On a large table stood an enormous wooden ship. Wow. Wow. A pirate ship? exclaimed Henry. It's so amazing. This is the Stinky Rose, the first pirate's gallon to sail the seven seas. But this is not the surprise, said the uncle. Really? But it's fabulous. What could possibly be more surprising than this, asked Henry. Henry wants to know what's the other surprise. He thought that was the surprise. That ship what his uncle gave him. But he said, no, no. There is more, more to come. I think that honor is mine, said a voice from inside the ship. The ship can talk? Henry's mouth fell wide, wide open. Wow! The ship doesn't talk. His uncle started to explain. But then the door opened on the deck. And a tiny, tiny pirate captain walked into his view took off his hat and bowed to Henry and said, Captain Eight Piece at your service. Whoa, I would have thought that it can talk too. But nope, pirate ships doesn't talk. It was a surprise pirate on the inside. Wow, do you guys see that ship? He actually thought it was a talking ship. Henry couldn't believe his eyes. This is the best toy ever, ever made, Uncle Richard. 
Henry, Captain Eight Piece is the real, and so is the rest of his crew. Uncle Richard whispered to him. Absolutely, cried Captain Eight Piece. My crew and I have been looking for a real good ship. Unfortunately, we came to your uncle's shop and found this wonderful vessel. We shall sail tomorrow. Wow, look at that. That's the captain. Captain Eight Piece. Hello, Zania. Hello, Aries. Welcome, Aries. I missed you, Aries. Where have you been, Aries? I'm glad you are aboard and story time with Miss Doris. But you can't be real. You're only six inches high, exclaimed Henry. Six and a half. Actually, Captain Eight Piece stood tall. Well, if I'm not real, then you won't be able to feel this, will you? He took off his cutlass, marched over to Henry, and pecked him, poked him in his hand. Ouch, Henry said. Henry can't believe. Look at that. He says, you are not real. I can't believe it. Look at how tiny he is. But guess what? He proved to him. He poked him in his finger. He did that to me, smiled Henry's uncle. Then he paid for the ship with gold coins. Well, we're going to help Captain Eight Piece and his crew launch his ship tomorrow. Let me introduce you to my crew. Dear boy, said the captain, men on deck now, he roared, and four tiny men appeared on the deck of the ship. Wow. Okay, let's see what it's going to be like. He paid for it with those little coins in the jar. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think that this ship is going to be able to sail? Well, let's find out. This is Barney Call, the first mate. He is the second in command. And Limpy Pitt, the Balsam, he makes sure all the crew members do their jobs properly. Okay then, let's see how this is going to work out. They have bosses and crewmanships. Check them out, guys. What do you think? We have two bosses on the ship. Wow. Perry Winkle is the second mate. And he is in charge of navigation. And finally, Razor Clam, the hillsman, he mans the helm, which means to stir the ship. Well, we have the person up here at the top that does the navigation for the ship. Check out everything. Make sure nothing goes wrong. They don't want them to run into anything. And this is the guy down here in the bottom. He stares the ship. Okay, guys. I hope it's going to be a safe journey. We'll see. Hello, Aries. I hope you're enjoying that story. Captain Eight Piece looked up at Hendry. We could do, we could do this with a cabin boy. But unfortunately, you're a bit, well... Big. However, we got lots of lots of jobs to do. Hello, Shekana. Hello, Shekavia. And welcome to story time. If you want to help, that'll be really, really nice. So Henry scrubbed the deck with the toothbrush. He stacked marbles that could be fired in the cannon. Well, can you guys find the toothbrush in this picture? 
I hope you can. Where is that toothbrush? There it goes. There is the toothbrush. Wow. It's the color red. What color is your toothbrush? Hello, Shekana. What are you having for lunch today, my little princess? He put the pirate's flag on the top of the mask. And he filled matchboxes with flour, cereal, and other foods to get ready for their long journey. You guys, if you're going on a long journey, make sure you have lots and lots and lots of food like they did. Even if you're going camping, you still have to have lots of food so you don't run out. There they go at top, putting their flag up. Wow, I love this book. I like this story. This is actually a good book, but kind of lengthy, guys. Bear on just a few more minutes. Henry stayed with the pirate's crew until bedtime. The crew told him about their adventure of sailing in the high seas, battling scary monsters, and finding treasures. He could have listed, he could have listened to them all night long. Tell a nice, nice, nice long, long stories. Look at that. What colors do you see? They're telling him nice stories, and he doesn't want to go to bed. Uncle Richard told him it was time for bed. Henry reluctantly bid the pirates good night and promised to help them launch the stinking rose in the morning. Then he went up to the bed and was asleep in minutes. Wow, they're all in bed, tucked in, ready to go to sleep. Wow, look at that. Good night, Pirate Sail Crew. We'll see you guys in the morning. Ready, ready for that sail. They're ready to get out in the water. A noise downstairs woke Henry in the middle of the night. He heard a door squeak, then the sound of a muffled voice. Somebody was breaking into the toy shop. Oh my goodness. Henry crept out of bed and tiptoed out of his room across the corridor to his uncle's room. Well, let's see. What's going on over in the toy shop? Is someone trying to break in? Look at Henry there in bed. He looks so surprised. Then a voice from downstairs drifted up to Henry. Blimley, Dave, look at the pirate ship that fetched, oh my goodness, a pretty, pretty penny. Let's just steal that and get out of here quickly. Oh my goodness, there's thieves in the toy shop. You guys, you're a kid, so if these come in the house, you guys run quickly for help. Do not try and take control yourself, because remember, you guys are little kids, and thieves are adults. So we don't want you guys getting hurt. Don't go up against thieves. Always let an adult know or a parent know that someone is in your home. Henry knew he needed to scare the burglars away. He was desperately trying to think of a plan. He felt something run up his pajama pants, leg and along his arm. And then he heard a voice whisper in his ear. His little soldier guy whispered in his ear. You guys, don't forget, you can't fight off these, your children. Always, always go and get help. Trying to figure out how to catch the burglars. Are you? Good man, Captain A.P. swung from Henry's ear onto his nose and looked him in his eyes. I bet you guys have beautiful eyes, just like Miss Doris. 
Limpy, Barney, and Perry are hiding in the ship. Ready to surprise them, Razor underneath the table. Up to no good, I imagine. What's your plan, whispered Henry. Well, we're pirates, my boy. We'll fight them. And what? And with that, Captain Eightpiece jumped off Henry's nose and ran down his arm onto the floor where he disappeared into darkness. Oh my goodness, those little pirates are so tiny. They can't fight off all those big people that's trying to break into the toy store. Oh my goodness, go and get help, guys. The two burglars were now struggling with the stinky rose. Help me lift this ship up. Wheezed the shorter one. The larger thief bent over the ship. Ouch! Something bit me on my hand. Something bit me. Shh! You big crybaby. Shh! The smaller burger scoffed. Put your boat back. Put your back into it. Ow! Something bit me too. Ouch! Again and again. Yes, they're fighting back. They pushed them, they bit them. They are really trying to harm those burglars. Keep on biting. Henry tried not to laugh. The crew was poking the burglars' hands with swords. Then Henry heard the buzzing of an engine. He looked up and saw a remote control helicopter. Captain Eight Piece was throwing tiny bags of flour into the thieves' eyes. Stop, you scoundrels, Captain Apiece shouted. Quick, quick, let's run out of here, cried the thieves. Ouch, ouch, those thieves are trying to get away. They giving them a run for their money. They don't want them to steal all of their toys. Wow, good job, little pirates. You guys may be tiny, but you are really, really mighty in fighting. But when the burglars tried to run, they tripped over Razor. Razor had tied their shoelaces together. Wow, those little pirates had a plan, I tell you. Yahoo, Henry, wake your uncle and call the police. Call Captain Apiece, jumping into, jumping into the larger burglar. Razor jumped into the shortest one, chin, and threatened him with cutlass. Thump, there he goes, falling down to the ground. Look at him. Wow, these pirates had an awesome plan. Good job, Mr. Pirates. You did great. I don't believe it. I'm seeing things. There are pirates' pixels in here, croaked the big thief as he fainted. Wow, yep, they're poking him in his face. Look at that. Poking him in the face with the sword. And look at him down below. Yeah, good job, guys. Thump, thump, thump. He fell to the floor. Henry's uncle had already called the police. When Henry went to get him, he and Henry went downstairs to find the two morning burglars tied up. But there was no sign of the pirates. Only if you listened very, very carefully, you could hear laughter coming from the stinky rose. Those pirates did an awesome job, even though they were tiny. They managed to capture the burglars. Good job. The police arrived and took the burglars away. They congratulated Henry and his uncle for catching the two men and told him that there they would be rewarded. The officers thought Mr. Henry and his nephew caught the burglars, but actually they didn't. The police asked if they knew why the burglars 
kept talking about six inch tall pirates. They saw the pirates. But Henry and Uncle Richard be pretended not to know what they were talking about. Whoa, good job. Uncle and Henry, they kept that a secret. Look at that. Yep, those pirates did an awesome job. The next morning, Henry and Uncle arrived, carried the stinky rose to the river, and helped Captain Eight Piece launch this ship. It floated perfectly. Captain Eight Piece thanked Henry and Uncle Richard for the ship. Thank you, guys. They're getting ready to sail, sail off. Thank you, Uncle and Cousin Richard. That was lots and lots of fun last night, Henry. If I ever grew smaller, you can definitely be my cabin boy. With the tip of hits and hats, gracefully bile, Captain Eight Piece jumped onto the stinking rose and he and his crew sailed off toward the seven seas and no new adventures. Oh my goodness, there they go, sailing, sailing off to new, new adventures. Look at that, wow, there they go, they're the little tiny people. Look at them. They are ready, ready to sail off. There they go. Awesome, awesome job. Yes. Wow. The end. Whoa. You guys, this was such an awesome story. I love this story today. Well, it was kind of lengthy, guys. But guess what? It's okay. It was a good story. You guys were awesome. Thank you so much for tuning in with Storytime with Me Stories. And remember, if you're not feeling well, always, always let mom and dad know. And they would take really, really, really good care of you. And when you're out playing, are coming out from the playground always always make sure that you're washing and sanitizing your hands at all times because Miss Doris doesn't want you guys getting sick always wash your hands even when you're going to the bathroom doing those somersaults those flips out in the park or in the yard always make sure you're washing your hands and the most important thing, safety first. When you guys go out in public and mom and dad gives you guys a mask to put on, always, always make sure you are wearing your mask in public because we don't want you guys getting sick. Make sure you're wearing your mask in public and don't take your mask off. Never ever take your mask off. I don't know what's wrong with my mask, guys. I think it's my earrings. Do you think Miss Doris' ears is too big? What do you think? My ears is too big. I think that's what the problem is. Uh-oh, there it goes. I did it. I got my mask on perfect. So guys, when you're out in public with mom and dad, always make sure that you are wearing your mask. Don't take them off until you get in the car and that's if mom and dad says so. You guys were awesome today. Thank you so much for tuning in with story time with Miss Doris and remember, if you're not smiling on today, I have a smile just for you. I love you guys all over the world, globally. Take care and have an awesome, awesome day. 
a smile just for you.